Shock defeat over in Spain as Barcelona slip up this past weekend. Open up the door for the likes of Real Madrid. Did they take full advantage? Well, we'll take a look at it. All of it next. <laughs> That's right, folks, back once again with another video. Today, we're taking a look at match day number nine, of course, over in Spain. And we'll get to that in a second. If you knew where you've been, smash your subscribe button. You want to subscribe for La Liga is right here under one Ruski. That's right, Barcelona slipped up, which is good for the rest of the league, given the chance for Real Madrid, Atletico, maybe even Bilbao to close it in onto top spot. We'll take a look at it, all of it, in a second. Big, big shout out to the VIPs. They are the Patreons. You know who you are. And, of course, a big, big shout out to the new Patreon. That is, of course, Case gift gap. Welcome to the party. Meanwhile, big big shout out to the brand new members, guys. We've got Mama joining us. We've got Quip Pope, Marcus J, Jamie Johnson, Samuel Zia, Stephen Bradley, and Dan P. You know who you are. I do appreciate the loving on the channel, uh, and welcome to the family. Now, I do have another way to become part of the family. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about this. That's right, folks, you can, uh, can be part of the family by going ahead and voting for Blackburn Rovers Seas in both the categories, best club content creator, football league, best podcast for the football league. It costs you absolutely nothing, just 20 seconds of your time. Please, please, please go ahead and vote. Get in there as quick as you can and, and maybe even do it a couple of times. Use your phone, use your console, use your use a different browser. Any trickery, you, any dark arts you can do, I will graciously appreciate it. So please go ahead and do that. At. There's a link in the description. There's a QR code on the screen. The link is also on the screen uh, if you need it. Turning back to the action, though, let's take a look back at the games that did take place this past weekend, of course, with some highlights. Let's have a look at them. Let's roll through these bad boys, including Getafe's tuna winners over Alaves. Got that one pretty much close to the money. Sociedad uh, did get a result against Valencia at long last. Uh, meanwhile, Barcelona did lose to Osasuna. We talked about that. Uh, Santa Viga and Girona 1-1. I got that one spot on. And, of course, the Madrid derby did end up all square. I was sitting on the fence on it, so I got it pretty much close to the money. Meanwhile, what about the table? Well, the table looks a little bit like this, guys. It is Barcelona still top of the charts with Real Madrid uh, up there as well. Atletico Madrid not too far away either. Uh, down the foot, if we were to get relegate, if we were to end it right now, the likes of Valencia, Espanyol and Co would be in trouble. Um, but of course, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Speaking of sprints, it's also not a, uh, a sprint in the Prediction League with the likes of the Clash of Man, Weller, myself doing all right as well. Taya B, well done to us all for doing the business. If you see a name in there, please go ahead and vote. Use the link, cutly forward slash vote, BRFC, 100% free. So respect to the guys in the Super Brew. The overall leader, though, looks a little bit like this. Music 1207 with a monster gap. Frosty's catching up on him, though. Costas K, he's okay. Barcelona Easter, he's in there as well. Well, I am I a big, bit of a mover as well, moving up the table somewhat. But again, it is early days in the Prediction League. If you want to get involved with the Prediction League, here is the link. It is absolutely free, uh, just like voting. So please go ahead and vote and join the Prediction League at the same time. Meanwhile, let's take a look at the next round of games then, shall we? As we've got some Bobby Dazzlers to end this part of the season. Remember, remember the international break is just around the corner. So we're going to start with a top... Uh, on the top of the graphic, and we, where are we going? We're going to go to Leganes, I think. Just give me one second, I need to clean this up a little bit. Uh, and we will get set. The pilot is not ready. I think he might be about ready now. So let's head over to Leganes as they take on Valencia. Coming at you on Friday, October the 4th, that's right. Leganes uh, doing uh, not the greatest at the moment, are they? All the way down to the 16th right now, as of recording. Uh, a few percent form for them right now. Just one win in the last six for Borja Jimenez's boys. Up against Valencia, who are into 18th uh, at the moment. Five points on the board as well. One win in the last six for them as well. Now, these two sides have played 10 times since 2016. We've got one win for Leganes, six for La Valencia. There's been three draws between the two sides. Last time around at this very venue, it was a one-nil win for Leganes, who are unbeaten against Valencia over the last four. However, a lot of these matches have ended up all square. Uh, Leganes on the back of that 1-1 one -one draw against Vallecano. Meanwhile, uh, Valencia with a 3-0 loss to Sociedad. That makes it back-to-back -back games without scoring a goal. Don't have any odds. I have basic odds. And the bookies cannot separate the two sides. In fact, Valencia are just about favourites on this one. And I think I've just about given them the victory. Yes, I have. 1-0 win on the road. These are the games they should be winning. So, yeah, point in, points in the bag for, for the visitors. Over to Espanyol now as they take on Mallorca. That's right, coming out 
match uh, on Saturday, the 5th of October. Espanol, uh, three defeats on the spin. 42% form for them right now. Up against Mallorca, uh, just one a defeat in the last six. They're up to fifth, uh, 14 points for the season as well. Down, uh, as for the hosts, 17 for the table, seven uh, points for the for the season as well. 41 times they've played since 1997. We've got 17 wins apiece and seven draws as well. Last time around at this venue, it was a 2-1 win for Espanol, who got back-to-back -back wins over Mallorca at this very venue. Espanyol, though, coming into this on the back of that 1-0 loss to Real Betis. Uh, Mallorca on the back of a 2-1 uh, uh, win over Valladolid. Uh, of course, that was on the 27th. Uh, of, of of September. Bear with me a second while I jiggery pokery around here. Uh, of course, yeah, that was back in the 27th. That's just to make sure of that one. Uh, of course, coming at you, the bookies on this one will find it tricky, but going with Mallorca, who look red red hot right now. So Mallorca, the favourite, Espanol, the underdogs. For me, though, I think I might be. I'm going with an upset here. Two one winners, Espanol. There's no logic in this one. It's just a random one. Uh, and I think, uh, yeah, I think Mallorca should win it. They're, they're, they're playing the better side. Espanol, though, are struggling. But um, every now and again, there's a curveball. So I'm going to throw a curveball in right now. Head on over to Getafe as they take on Osasuna on the 5th of October as Pepe Budales' boys uh, take on Osasuna and Vincenzo Moreno. Played 38 times since 1999. 16 wins for Getafe, 9 for Osasuna, 3 draws as well. Getafe, just one win in the last six. Uh, of course, that was the most recent. Uh, they were down into 15 for the moment, 7th, uh, 7 points for the campaign. Osasuna, unbeaten in the last three. In fact, uh, just one defeat in the last five as they sit 7th with 14 points for the season. Last time around, though, at this very venue, which which is, of course, the Coliseum Stadium. It was a 3-2 win for Getafe back in September 2023. The hosts have not uh, lost this, have only lost once in the last six. That's when Osasuna hosted Getafe back in May, uh, back in September 2022. Uh, Getafe on the back of that 2-0 win over Alaves. Uh, Osasuna with a 4-2 win over Barcelona. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Uh, Getafe are favoured here. Uh, Osasuna are the underdogs. Uh, going to go with a... What am I going to go with? I'm going to go with a draw, yeah. Uh, Osasuna playing good. Big result, spoiled on by that. That Getafe, uh, good result for them as well. So, yes, yeah, sit on the fence with a 1 1 draw. Let's go over the Jose Zorinia Stadium as Real Valladolid. They take on Valacano. That's right, coming at you as well on Saturday, the 5th of uh, October. Played 37 times since 1993. 17 wins for Valladolid, 12 wins for Valacano, and there's been eight draws between the two sides. Valladolid struggling under Paolo Pazzalino uh, without a win in the last six matches. Up against Valacano, uh, Ignacio Perez is the, is the governor there, sitting ninth with 10 points for the season there of course uh i've unbeaten in the last four however drawn three in succession now these two sides will lock horns will be the 38th time since 1993 17 wins for valdali 12 wins for valicano and there's been eight draws last time around in competitive action it was a two uh at this very venue it was a one nil win for valicano uh who of course are unbeaten against them over the last three um in, well, I wouldn't say competitive action, but in competitive action, it's back-to-back -back wins, back-to-back -back wins. Val Valicano, on the back of that one more draw, it's Leganes. Valladolid did lose to Mallorca most recently. The bookies uh, will go with on this one, 21 to 10 for your hosts. Two to one is your draw. Six to four is your away win. Uh, yeah, another tight one, but I'm going to back the Valicano here for our away win and a big three-pointer for them this season. Head on over to Gran Canaria now as Las Palmas take on Celta Vigo. Uh, now these two sides played 25 times in 2001. Las Palmas, uh, pretty shit form right now. 17% form for them coming at you over the last six under Luis Miguel Carrion. Uh, Soto Vigo, though, under uh, Claudio Geraldes. That's amazing start to the season. Long, long gone now. Just one win in the last six, of course. Now these two sides have played 25 times since 2001. 10 wins for Las Palmas, 11 wins for Soto Vigo. It's been four draws between the two sides. Last time around at this very venue was a dual win for Las Palmas back in October 2023. Uh, Las Palmas uh, have lost, uh, have only won once in the last six against Celta Vigo in all competitions and all venues. Uh, Celta Vigo on the back of that one more draw against Girona. Uh, of course, Las Palmas, not great form for them coming at you on this one. The bookies, uh, if I've got it, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it. Uh, what do we have on this one? Bookies going with uh, Celta Vigo. They are favoured. Las Palmas, the underdogs. Of course, their season has been pretty much forgettable so far. Uh, but for me, going to go with a, a one near win, though. Gives Las Palmas their first win of the campaign under a Celta Vigo side that's, uh, that's gone off the boil somewhat. 
Uh, meanwhile, perfect time to talk about a Blackburn Overseas and the best uh, the Football Content Creator Awards. We were nominated for two categories, Best Club Content Creator, Best Podcast, both for the Football League. Please go ahead and vote. Spend 20 of your seconds of your precious day over here, over there and vote. Cut the four shots, vote BRFC. There's a QR code on the screen, a link down below. Please uh, give us a bit of your time, a bit of your day and go ahead and vote. Uh, we've got some bit of rivals in there that we need to beat. Uh, and if you vote, you're team will win that's right your team will win so please 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 go ahead and vote not long left now to get your votes in so i do appreciate the love that you can send my way please go ahead and vote meanwhile over to madrid we go as real take on villarreal probably the game of the day of the game of the weekend should we say real madrid on the back of that draw against atletico villarreal though uh doing a-ok under marcelino that's right 49 times they have played since 1998 26 26 wins for real madrid under ancelotti six wins for villarreal now under marcelino and 17 draws between the two sides last time around at this very venue is a 4-1 win for Madrid uh, and of course it has been pretty tight between these two sides over the last six I'm looking two wins apiece two, draw, two and two draws as well so pretty even Stevens and the last time that they locked horns let's get a bit of this action it was a 4-4 draw back in May 2024 eight goal thriller there's always goals in this one uh, of course Villarreal on the back of that uh, result against uh, Las Palmas meanwhile Real Madrid uh, on the back of that uh, draw against Atletico Madrid and they will both they both in action this midweek no I think Real Madrid are in action against Lille in uh, of course the Champions Legos uh, of course the bookies they go with uh, Real Madrid on this one they are 4-1 to one on for the victory 72 is your Villarreal 6-1 to one is your long shots gotta go with a free one win like I said goals in this game and uh, Real Madrid will be the ones on the on the receiving end of uh, a victory Meanwhile, let's head over to Girona as they take on Bill Barnes. Another bit of a, a banging game coming out of the, uh, where are we going there? Stadio di Mon uh, Stadi Monteveldi. Uh, as Girona look to uh, get back to winning ways, of course. Played eight times these two sides since 2017. Three wins to Girona, four wins to Bill Barnes. There's been one draw between the two sides. Girona without a win now in the last five. However, back-to-back -back draws as they sit 12th with nine points under Michel. Meanwhile, Ernesto Valverde unbeaten in the last five. 67% form for them right now. Also on back Back to back draws currently sitting in fourth with 14 points at the moment. Meanwhile, last time around at this very venue, it was a 1 1 draw. Uh, Girona just winning once uh, uh, in the last three between these two sides. In fact, a win apiece and a draw apiece uh, between these two over the last three. Girona on the back of a, uh, a 1 1 draw against Celta Vigo. Bill Bauer, the same scoreline against Sevilla. Bookies for this one, 13 to 10 is your Girona, 11 to 5 is your Bill Bauer, 23 to 10 is the draw. The Girona of last year ain't here, guys. Gonna go with a 1-0 win, maybe an upset. Bill Bauer taking all three points. Head on over to Alaves now as they take on leaders, uh, Barcelona, at the Estadio de Montreuil. Uh, Alaves under Luis Garcia, 50% form for them right now. Uh, won three and lost three over the last six. They sit 11th with 10 points for the campaign. Barcelona under Hansi Flick, two defeats now in the last four, as maybe clarity has started to become clear. Uh, or clarity. Well, clarity becomes a bit more in your face uh, right now as uh, as Barcelona can be beaten. Uh, Osasuna doing it, as did AS Monaco. But they still top the charts with 21 points for the name. Now, these two sides have played 31 times since 1999. Four wins for Alaves, 23 wins for Barcelona. There's been four draws between the two sides. However, the last three have ended up all victories for Barcelona. In fact, they are unbeaten at least the last six, uh, including a 2-1 win, uh, sorry, a 3-1 win the last time they played at this very venue. Alaves on the back of that 2-0 loss to Getafe. Barcelona also losing last time around against Osasuna. But again, uh, Barcelona are busy this week. Young boys burn coming at you. Uh, uh, on October the 1st. So that could be a major distraction. 92 is your Alaves, 74 on is your Barcelona, 10 to 3 the draw. Despite the, hook, the hiccup last week, I think they'll come out on top Barcelona. 3 0 winners over at Alaves. Sevilla next as they take on Real Betis. What some classic games on the agenda, don't we, before the international break? Sevilla, though, coming at you under uh, uh, Garcia Pimenta. 50% form for them right now. 1 2 lost to and drawn to over the last six. They sit 13th right now up against Real Betis and Mamma Pellegrini, who are in eighth with 12 points now uh betis just one defeat in the last five for them 58 percent form up against the severe side 50 percent form winning two losing two and drawn two over the last six now they have played 58 times since 95 26 wins for severe 11 wins for real betis there's been 21 draws between the two sides last time around at this very venue it was a 1-1 draw back in november 2023 uh in fact for the last five in fact no if, 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 tell a lie the last four competitive games between these two sides have ended up all square 
Sevilla on the back of a, a one more draw against Bilbao. Real Betis with that 1-0 win over Espanyol. 31-20 is your Sevilla. 15-8 is your Real Betis. 11-5 is the draw. Uh, again, I think the, the form book is there. The track record is there for Sevilla. It's going to be another draw. I'm going with a 2-2, two, two, though. I'm going for goals. Goals in it. Four in it. 2-2, two, two, but only a point apiece. And then finally, folks, we got over to my boys, Real Sociedad, who uh, need something and fast. We get that first game Madrid side in what's going to be an absolute banger at the Real Arena. That's right. Sociedad under Emmanuel Iglesias are now unbeaten in the last three matches. Goodness gracious. Uh, my home oh my has that turned around. 42% form for them right now. They sit 14th with eight points for the campaign. Atletico, though, for 83% form for them at the moment. Unbeaten in at least the last six games. Uh, they sit third with 16 points to the name. Now, these two sides have played 55 times since 1993. 18 wins for Sociedad, 26 wins for Belba, uh, Madrid there, 11 draws as well. Last time around at this very venue it was a 2-0 win for Atletico, who've won uh, three on the spin against them in competitive action. Uh, Madrid on the back of that draw against their, their other rivals there, or the better rivals, Real Madrid. Sociedad with a big 3-0 win over Valencia. But both sides are in action in Europe this week, so uh, tricky games for both to navigate heading into to this one the bookies as well 23 to 10 go with Sociedad 13 to 10 is your Madrid 21 to 10 is the draw uh, despite the recent turnaround and a bit, a bit of points in the bag for Sociedad they'll lose this one as Madrid are something else and they'll keep it tight 1-0 winners for me on the road for Atletico that my friends is what I've got for you on that be sure to get your predictions in and of course don't forget to vote 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 Blackburn Rover Seas best club content creator football league best podcast for the football league it takes you 20 seconds please it really does it's free nothing in it uh, but please we're trying to beat some bitter rivals here and I need your help uh, I wouldn't be asking if I didn't need it if it was all down to me then yeah let it be but I do need your help um, you know I, I love you I love the community I love the channel I love everything about it but I need a bit of an accolade to go against our name I love to have uh, best content creator or best podcast next to our name go down in the history books please 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 that's all down to you. And again, here's the link for the Prediction League if you want to get involved with that. That's also free. And again, if you are a member of the of the Prediction League, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and vote. Please, it costs you absolutely nothing. Uh, we'll be back again after the international break. That's going to be a busy old time. It's going to be a busy old couple of weeks ahead, actually, on the channel. So please uh, subscribe, smash the like, catch you later. But until then, dudes and dudettes, we are done.